Tonight, live at 5. We had no budget, but we made it happen. It's called They Didn't Make It, But They Are Right Now in Maritime City. It's a no-budget horror flick scaring up a lot of support tonight. <laughs> Coming up next, find out why something scary is developing in one Maritime City. If you don't have like a, a radio, you make a radio out of a rubber band and a clothespin, you know what I mean? You use what you have around you. From homemade fake blood to actors donating their time and talents to tell you all about a no-budget horror film being produced here in the Maritimes. That's next. Thank you, Steve. When you think of Hollywood horror films like Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th, large million-dollar budgets come to mind. Of course, you need money for actors, costumes, and those special effects. That's exactly right. In the uh, Fredericton group now, though, is in the process of making a horror film of their own for... A whole lot less. CTV's Monica Verma has more. Mr. Lacey was one of my favorite teachers, Scott. What if something's the matter? Danielle and her boyfriend, Scott, are in an isolated parking garage where they've come across something very unusual. Scene 54, shot 12, take one. That's how one of the scenes starts off in the horror film, They Didn't Make It. A young man is, is picked on and teased by his friends and then disappears. Was he kidnapped? Adopted? Perhaps. But eight years go by. Eight years later, the town learns of his fate and theirs. Who's slating? The movie is being made in the Maritimes by Maritimers. It's even written and directed by Fredericton resident Joel Thompson. The really unique thing about this independent feature film being made in Fredericton is the budget. There is none. The way that you did it when you... The New Brunswick Film Co-op has lent the group lights and cameras, but there's a lot more equipment that's needed to make a movie. Those involved say the key is creativity. I call it the MacGyver effect, you know? It's like, if you don't have like a, a radio, you make a radio out of a rubber band and a clothespin, you know what I mean? You use what you have around you. As for the cast and crew, none of them are being paid for the countless hours they've sacrificed. Staying up really, really late and then getting up early again to go work a job that pays the bills and then coming back and doing this again at night. Despite those sacrifices, everyone involved says it's worth it. It is productive. We are getting together as a, a small community of people and, and, and building something and something that's going to be remembered. Action! Joel Thompson hopes the movie will be as successful as the Blair Witch Project, made on a low budget. It's a group of people that are just passionate about filmmaking, and uh, we had no budget, but we made it happen. Um, and for, for that you know, sake alone, I think people will want to watch it and see what we've done. So is Mr. Lacey okay? They plan to enter it in next year's New Brunswick Silverway Film Festival, and are hoping for plenty of screaming fans. Monica Verma, CTV News, Fredericton. Danielle! He just kind of pushed her face like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yikes. Yikes!